Hi everybody, just thought I'd jump on and do you a quick video. I'm just uh, making a cabinet tea and I just want to put a flush cutting bit in, which is this one, uh, which actually the roller will go underneath and run down the side of the cabinet and this cutter will trim the back of the uh, unit flush. So uh, it's a good way to get a flush finish. But the, the issue I've come across is this uh, sort of uh, cutter is, I've just taken this round over cutter out, which you can see there. Uh, and the shaft on this one is slightly thicker than this one. Uh, this one I think is a six mil and this is a nine mil. So this, this one fits nice and snug into the uh, chuck. But when I take that out, this one is loose as you can see. Now, a lot of people think that's it, you can't use that cutter in that then, but you can now because back in the day you had to buy the right one, but now most routers and things come with different size collets now that's a collet there you can see it's like a piece of tapered metal with a cut in it which tightens onto the cutter so that's the uh, one to suit the bigger bit as you can see that's a nice snug fit on there like that and then if I try it on the other bit as you can see it's loose it's no good so it won't grip the bit but what I've got is this other collet which is the other replacement collet and if I put that on as you can see it's a nice snug fit so all I need to do is take this collet out of here make sure you put your tapered side in so as you can see there you can see that yeah you can see it it's tapered make sure the tapered side goes in so as your nut clamps down on it it'll tighten it and grip your bit so that's the other one slightly different shape same sort of scenario it's tapered so we put that in there, tapered side down, then we take our uh, locking nut, just start that off, and then this smaller bit, the flush cutting bit, will then go in there, and it's a nice snug fit. So then we can just nip that up. Tighten it up with a spanner. That's it and then uh, that's ready to use i can just put the uh, guide back on and uh, that's perfect to use be careful not to you lose your uh, collet uh, what i tend to do is i tend to put it on one of the cutters like that and then i put it back in my cutter rack and then it keeps it safe so that's just a quick tip on uh, collet sizes for routers